now let's jump on to the exam kit questions right i'll try to them i'll try to do most of them and let's start it from question 352 there are just 10 questions right let's start them so first question is 352 right so based on this information what was razil's sales revenue for the year right we have to find which figure the sales right now the following information is given uh, this is all the information right now you can see that from this information the first is opening inventory then closing then purchases right so from these three figures if we add up them and minus the closing inventory we can easily get the cost of sales because this is the formula for cost of sales right so 77 uh, plus 763 minus uh, sorry minus 84 right we'll get the cost of sale because opening inventory plus purchases minus closing right yes. from this way we'll get the cost of sale 77 plus 763 and minus 84 so this is 756000 okay this is the cost of sales now this is the gross profit margin you can see there is a margin used over here again in margin what happens is selling price cost and profit right so in margin selling price is 100 percent right now what is the profit margin over here 30 percent so if margin is 30 cost will be 70 over here right now we know the cost of sale which is 756,000. right what do we have to find we have to find the sales revenue so it's very simple 756,000. the cost of sales is representing 70 percent right and we need to jump up to which amount 100 because we need to go up to the sales we need the sales over here right okay. so 756,000. One second. divided by 70 and multiplied by 100 so this is giving us a figure of 1080 000. right so 1.08 million you can also say so correct option will be option d 1080 000. Okay, very simple to do. We just have to, you know, make this sketch yeah. in a rough paper. And yeah. after that, everything yeah. 353, let's look at this as well. So this is the same question. Based upon this information, what is cost of inventory destroyed in the file? Yes, let's look at this. On 1st September 18, Winston had inventory of 380,000. During the month, sales total 650,000 and purchases were 480, right? On 30th September 18, that means this is the closing date, a fire destroyed some of the inventory. The undamaged goods are valued at 220,000. So again, this is the value after fire, right? Because it's telling us, in other words, the undamaged goods means that once, once the fire finished, once everything was burned out, we then sent our accountant for checking the inventory. He counted and it was 220,000 after the fire right so business makes all sales with a standard gross profit margin of 30 percent okay very nice what do we have to do in this case is that uh, we have to basically move back we have to go in a reverse order okay now you can see that over here all of the uh, information is clearly given right purchases are given as well and this opening inventory is also given right we have to apply the this uh, margin figure and find the closing inventory from this one okay now let's calculate this first of all selling price cost and then profit right so when we make this sketch this is like we can we can call it a safe side we are just calculating the full total amounts of let's say selling price cost all that just for a safe side just for what we know yeah. as a total balance right for calculating mm -hmm. the missing figures now sales are how much 650000 right actually i should have write the percentage first let's write it first so in this selling price is always 100% right if the profit is 30% in this case the cost will be 70% right so if sales are 650000 we have to first find the cost of sales right let's find the cost of sale 650000 divided by 100 it's representing 100 percent and we need which amount 70 percent right so 650 divided by 100 into 70 this is 455,000. so 455,000 is the cost of sale in this case 
right now what we do is that cost of sale formula you already know let's calculate it here cost of sales is equal to opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory right we have got the full answer for cost of sale 455000 what is the opening inventory it's written in the question you can see 380000 is the opening inventory 380000 purchases are also written in the question you can see 480000 right so plus 480000 and closing inventory we just leave as it is because we have to find this figure right so if i rearrange this 455 minus 380 minus 480 let's find the closing inventory 455 minus 380 minus 480 yeah so it is giving us 405 closing inventory is 405000 right now what we do is so the fills uh the formula is open inventory plus purchases minus minus closing right yeah that's right exactly the one that we have done you know in the exercise like before this the 3 352 250 the exercise yeah. was that was the same thing uh in this one in the first question this one yeah 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 exactly it's same you can see this 77 is the opening inventory right okay. this is uh, purchases right and this is the closing inventory you can see opening okay. 77 purchases is this and closing is this okay thank okay, you okay right so this is a standardized formula it's used it's a universal formula okay mm -hmm. now this is the closing inventory now this is the original closing inventory right it's saying over here that after the fire destroyed the goods value were 220000 right so we have to find the actual goods that were destroyed so 405000 minus 220000 right this is the after fire one right and this is the before fire one in every case we compare before with after right and then we get to know the damage that has occurred right so 405 minus 220 this is 185000 this is how much the goods were destroyed okay right so this will be the correct answer 185000 which is option a over here okay got it clear yes clear okay. now 354 let's look at this as well so it's a similar yeah. question let's see what should be the amount for closing inventory right now we have to find the closing inventory value so you have been provided with following incomplete and incorrect extract okay and there there is a markup of 25% in this case okay now for markup this means that again selling price cost and then profit right so markup of 25% means 100% over here 25% profit and 125 is selling price because in markup the cost remains 100% always right mm -hmm. now um first again we have to find the full uh for full amount for this for the cost of sales and we will find this using these percentages right now one thing that is written over here that we have to adjust beforehand is you discovered that sales revenue figure should have been 174825 so not this one it should be 174825 because this is made incorrect right and purchase returns of 1084 sales return of 1146 have been omitted yeah so what happened is let me erase this so you know the sales figure this is basically written as sales minus sales return yeah. right because the return is basically minus from the sale in every case this is like a very minute detail this actually never happens uh, but in actual these sales are basically called the net revenue net sales net means that returns are already minus from this right so the correct figure for this let's calculate it so 174825 this were the correct sales right and sales return of 1146 we have also not written these right let's calculate the correct sales 174825 minus 1146 so this is 173679 right these are the sales So that means ignoring this we will have to see 
correct right this is a correct one now purchase returns have also not been written over here purchase return are also minus from this figure 136527 let's calculate this as well 136527 minus 1084 the reason returns are being minus is because this just makes it easy for calculation right so this is 135443 okay so instead of this we'll write it 135443 now let's do the calculation now we are done with the correct amounts over here okay so now the selling price is 173679 like we just calculated right so for finding this what we'll do is 173679 divided by 125 because this is a 125% amount and what we need is the cost of sale so multiply it with 100 right so 173679 divided by 125 and multiplied by 100 right so this is giving us a figure of 138943.2 but let's take it this because we are rounding it off okay so this is the whole cost of sales again i'll create such formula right so what was your answer over here one second 138943 yeah 138943 9439 exactly and after that uh, we'll have to write the opening inventory which is 12274 12274 right plus the purchases oh. purchase are 135443 because this was the correct amount and minus the closing inventory we'll just ignore this uh, we have to find this one that's why i'm writing it closing inventory okay so 138943 minus 12274 minus 135443 so direct answer i'm writing over here which is 8774 okay right so you can see this is the normal closing inventory without any damages this is the normal amount right uh actually there were no damages over here we just had to find the closing inventory and the correct figure for this will be hopefully 8774 okay 8774 i was actually confusing this with the damages question this question does not have any damage information right so this will be the correct amount which is 8774 what right? it okay, okay. now let's do this last question right uh, after that i think just few of the questions are left you can try them and let me know if there is any kind of issue right let's do this one as well so a fire in office of levies has destroyed most of the accounting records right so that's why we are using the um, what do we call the incomplete records formula right so what was the total cash paid to suppliers in the year so obviously there is a supplier uh, thing over here so we have to make a payables account in this case right let's make a payable account over here one second so this is payables and it is a liability right so first of all let's see uh, yeah so this is information opening payables this much closing payable is this much 29780 this is the opening payables right and closing ones are given over here 34600 34600 right now sales has nothing to do with this right but yes for sales we can find the whole cost of sale figure right and from cost of sale figure we have got two items opening and closing inventory by plus and minusing this we can find the purchases right that's the approach we have to follow so sale is 630000 first let's create a sketch i forgot that selling price cost and profit right so which is the method being followed markup of 40% in markup cost always remains 100% right so profit is 40% and selling price is 140 as well right so if selling price is 140 so 630000 divided by 140 what do we need over here we need the cost right so multiplied by 100 so 630 divided by 140 into 100 so this is 450000 the cost of sale we have successfully got that is 450000 right now what we do is we just apply the formula 
is equal to opening inventory right purchases we have to find right and minus the closing inventory that is given to us which is 3 4 6 double zero right now we'll just arrange this for 50000 minus 24 300 just a second uh, yeah 24 300 and we'll add back 34 600 because it's being minus over here right so when it will go on that side it will uh, become plus sign right so purchases are four six zero three hundred we've got the purchases now these purchases we have to use in this payable account right four six zero three hundred is there anything else over here no i don't think so so the cash that is paid th this is what we have to find right cash paid we'll just balance of the account right so 29780 plus 460 490 080 right and if we minus 34600 we get the figure which is cash paid of 455480 this is the cash paid and why is it not coming here one second what is the figure four five five four eight zero okay let's see oh what did i just do oh my god one second this is the closing inventory is this one three two seven five zero okay. what did, did i just do one second so purchases will be four fifty thousand minus 24 300 and plus 32 750 458 450 yeah and this one will use over here 458 450 just a second plus 29780 four double eight two three zero Four double eight two three zero. Let me confirm. Opening is two nine seven eight zero. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, cash paid will be minus thirty four six hundred. So it's four five three six three zero. Yeah, this will be the correct option. Four five three six three zero, which is option D, and this will hopefully be correct. Okay, so this is the approach that we have to follow in the questions again it's a calculation based approach we don't have to you know learn anything over here we just have to apply simply understand the concept and then apply then understand then apply right so this cycle goes on and remaining questions i hope you've got the hold of this chapter right you can surely revise this over the weekend and uh, let me